And this tragedy comes just hours after the department announced plans for a memorial service to honor eight of their firefighters who lost their lives in the line of duty. Western Mass News reporter Sabrina Riley has more on the history of the department fighting fires in the freezing temperatures. Our city once again has suffered an unimaginable devastating loss with the death, death this morning of Fire Lieutenant Jason Menard. Flags at the Worcester Fire Department lowered to half staff on Wednesday in honor of fallen firefighter Lieutenant Jason Menard, a sight far too familiar for the city. The circumstances have become all too familiar to us. A cold night, one of our three decade neighborhoods, a fire, and the death of one of our Worcester's bravest. This tragedy is the ninth fatality the department has seen in the last 20 years. It was just yesterday afternoon that we were announcing memorial tributes coming this December in honor of the Worcester Six, firefighter John Davies and firefighter Chris Roy. To have this cruel loss early this morning is almost more than one city can bear. All nine of the department's losses happening in brutally cold weather during the months of November and December. Fire Union President Michael Papagini tells Western Mass News they are dedicated to keeping their city safe no matter the weather conditions. We'd like to ensure this community that as we always have, we will continue to answer the calls for help and the great firefighters of this city will continue to serve without relenting. A promise that's proven true no matter the tragedy. Jason's and his crew's heroic actions speak volumes of the type of dedication and selflessness that have become synonymous with the Worcester Fire Department. In Worcester, Sabrina Riley, Western Mass News.